What's up guys? Today is Friday and first off, let me just say I'm sorry. I had a video yet ready for you guys yesterday, uploaded it to YouTube and everything. Just did not make it public for whatever reason. So I've done that before. My apologies. Hopefully I, I won't do that again, but uh, I'll cover what I said yesterday here real quick and then I'll show you and talk to you about what I wanted to talk to you, talk to you about today. So yesterday I just covered the, the lumber rack, got it finished. It looks great. I'm happy with it. I love the brick and everything. And just, I got to purge a lot of that wood. So the wood that I've got here is some of the best wood that I had or have. And so that's there. It just looks really good over here on this wall. You can see that I've got some messed up places there on the wall there and there and a little bit there. That is where I had some like three and a half, four inch screws and the head got stripped out when I was installing the last lumber rack. It was just a wooden lumber rack that I made myself. So it was hard to get those screws out. So I just had to manhandle those uh, uprights, the verticals, <clears throat> just to get them off the wall. So but it'll be covered up with a, a storage shelf. So I'm not really worried about it. Uh, but anyway, got that down, got this up. So that was a productive day yesterday. I've been out of the shop all day today, was over at Jay's place. Uh, Wayne was there, so I got to talk to Wayne. Haven't seen him in a while. I haven't seen Jay in a while, actually. Uh, but we got to catch up, so that was good. Uh, Wayne brought me a couple of goodies. I gotta show you, these things are beautiful. So he has been making some of these mallets. You may have seen them on Jay's channel, but these things are gorgeous. They're just, I'm trying to do this. So. These things are just beautiful. The head and the and the handle twist off so you can replace the heads. But <clears throat> right now these things are limited edition. He's not selling them or anything. But I promise you, if he starts selling them, I'll let you know. Because I know you guys want one of those. Those are really, really cool. So Wayne, I know you're watching. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, another little surprise that I got was uh, from... Dimension Woodworks over on Instagram. Go check him out. He sent me this. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, he did carve this by hand, so it's actually pretty impressive. It turned out really good. So that's kind of like carved out. I may try to do an epoxy pour, try to get some maroon, light tinted maroon um, epoxy. If you be, any of you guys know where I can maybe get some uh, light tinted maroon epoxy, that might be something good to do as a project, maybe a live stream project. So let me know if you have any contacts with epoxy or whatever. I could have ordered some, but I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, never really done that. So shoot me a comment down below uh, with suggestions or whatever. So yeah, shouldn't take a whole lot, but that'd, that'd be fun on a live stream, just do a little project. So that's cool. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, got the hats on the website. So a lot of, not a lot, but I had a few sell. Still got a handful left. Um, so if you're interested, go check them out. This one is the semi curved. There is a straight bill, which I'm not, I can't pull off the straight bill, but this thing is, uh, pretty comfortable. Uh, really well made. I like it. There was one more. Oh, I know what it was. The podcast episode. I just recorded episode nine, so it should populate sometime tonight, maybe tomorrow, but it's on my website. I think anyway, stoneandsons.net slash audio, uh, it should be there now. If not, give it a little bit, uh, but I talk about shop organization. There are eight other episodes, so if you haven't been listening, go check it out. Give me a follow and just subscribe um, if you're into podcasts. If not, I'd love some feedback, if nothing else, because uh, I want to improve it the best way I know how. But I've got a little, a bit of a, uh, some good news with the podcast. So I've been recently trying to figure out a way to make it easier for you guys to call in and leave questions and talk to you guys, so I've got the answer. Um, and... Using the Anchor app is fairly simple, um, but now I've got a number you can call. So, I mean, you could type a number in your phone and just call it and it's, it rings to my you know, voicemail or whatever. So right now, um, if you go to stoneandsons dot, or excuse me, yeah, stoneandsons.net slash audio, uh, there will be a link there that says call in or leave a voicemail question. And if you're on your smartphone and you do that and you press that link, it'll just bring up the phone app and they'll, there'll be a phone number in there. You just hit call and that goes to me and you'll hear my voice and telling you to leave your question and all that after the tone. So it's just like making a phone call. So just click the link and listen to it and leave your question, whatever. Uh, so that's really cool. And then when I get to the point where I want to start having one-on-one -on -one conversations on, 
on the phone, I can uncheck a couple of boxes within the settings uh, for the phone number. And uh, you can call that number direct and it just ring right to my phone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, very, very simple. Haven't figured out how to do it from a desktop. It wants to use like FaceTime and that kind of thing. So best way to do it is just do it from your mobile phone. Um, and it should work, no problem. But yeah, go check it out. Subscribe to the podcast. I'd love some feedback uh, on what you guys think, what you'd like to hear in the episode. If some of the things that I talk about are good or not good, I, I'm a big boy. I can take criticism, so I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments on that and then also about the epoxy. So I'm clueless on epoxy. So that's it. You guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you next week. Later.